Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review and a tutorial using the new palettes from Juvia's Place. Now, they're not new as were, but they are definitely new on beautybay.com and that is the only way we can get them here in the UK. So as soon as they came out, snatched them, grabbed them really quick <laughs> and Beauty Bay does next day delivery. So if you're interested in any of like different brands, so for example, they have Jeffree Star, they have um, all different brands on there. They're really good and their delivery is amazing. So check them out. Today I'm going to be just doing this tutorial here using shadows from these palettes. But I did also get the Saharan palette and I'll probably use this in a different tutorial. But yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look, continue watching and please make sure to like and subscribe. So let's get to it. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just setting my eyelids with some translucent powder because there isn't a pale enough shade in the colours like in the palettes I've picked to be able to use them as like a um like a blending shade so all I'm going to do so then I'm going to use hmm, the warmer tones today and then I'll do another look using the brighter colours so I think let me have a look so I'm going to use a mixture of the Mini Masquerade and the Nubian palette. Yeah. I think we've got an idea here. I'm gonna take a doo -doo 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 -doo, defined crease brush from Zoeva. And I'm gonna take the color. I'm gonna take this warm brown here. And I'm gonna put it in the crease. Oh god, that is pigmented. I think I'm going to do something quite dark. I'm also taking this over the lid. Same brush. I'm not packing it on. I'm just buffing it over. Very, very smooth. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan. I don't know if you can see just here. A little bit, little bit of kick up. But the shadow is blending well. So I'm not too fussed. That's a nice colour. Then I'm going to take Zulu. From the mini masquerade palette which is this one down here zulu on a crease brush this is a petite crease from zoeva i always find if you want to find your crease tilt your head back a bit because it's just the natural na natural natural hollow of your eye tap them off this is like warm and dramatic i'm liking this color it's making the green in my eyes look good it looks harsh, but I will blend. <laughs> I'm going to take some Burkina on this defined crease brush. Burkina is this shade here. Here is Burkina. It's like a dark, cool brown, I'd say. I'm going to put that in the crease. Fallout, not a lot at all. Yeah, I've got... Um, these Juvia's Place shadows on beautybay.com. They have next day delivery, so I always try and get anything new on there because I'm impatient. I'm really impatient. And I just can't wait. I'm taking this uh, 228 crease brush from Zoeva and I'm going to blend this edge just to see how well it blends. Yeah, it's blending well. I'm not having to put a load of pressure on the brush to blend them out, so I think that's good. Yeah. I also find that if um, your eyeshadows are being a bit stubborn and they're not blending, just use your finger a bit, just to buff over it. I find that does help. I think some people find it weird if you use your fingers to blend something out, but I don't care. So I'm taking the shade Ada which is this reddy brown from the Mini Masquerade. And I think I'm going to put this on the bottom of my lid. Hmm. This is just a generic flat brush. Um, okay, let's pick it up good. Right, I'm going to see how this looks. Oh yeah. It's got really nice pigment. Looks good. Then I'm going to take this Zoeva brush again and... The first colour we use from the Nubian palette, and I'm going to blend that edge and over the lid a bit. 
just tilt your head back if you can't find your crease really blend it out this kind of reminds me of my Morphe 35O tutorial <laughs> I like quite a dramatic shape you could obviously leave it round if you want but I like quite a dramatic shape right I'm gonna take hmm, I'm gonna take this, this lighter shade from the Nubian palette and I'm gonna blend it here with the Zoeva brush then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this red colour what do we reckon red? I feel like red ish a reddish tone might look quite good I'm gonna take this middle coppery red from the Nubian palette a flat brush I'm gonna smush it in smush 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 Okay, let's see how this goes. Quite nervous here. Let us see. Oh, that looks nice. But I'm going to try it with my finger. That looks better. Ooh, that looks snazzy. Right, I'm going to blend the edges. Blend in the crease with a petite crease brush again. And I think I'm going to take some of this dark brown here this is in the Nubian palette I'm gonna push this with my crease a bit I know this is probably like the most disjointed tutorial we've ever watched but I'm literally just winging it so I put the dark crease in then I'm gonna blend it out these shadows are really good I don't think I've tried shadows with just pigment like instantly I'm gonna put a bit more of this red on because I really want it to pop I want to put like a like a matte colour I might put more of the matte colour on the outsides so I'm gonna take the Ada shade again push this here that looks fun blend it out again I don't know, let's have a zoom don't know if you can see but all the colours look pigmented uh, it's not patchy yeah I think it looks quite good I'm going to do my lower lash line but I think I'm going to do it after I've done all my concealer and stuff but yeah, I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be back right so I've done the eyes and as you can see they're quite dramatic I was going to do something natural but hey where's the fun in that so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll be back to finish the lower lash line see you in a bit I've done the rest of my face now um, I'm just going to finish off the lower lash line so I'm going to take the shade Burkina and I kind of want to do quite dramatic under eyes I think feeling dramatic I'm taking this burkina shade quite low underneath my eyes obviously you don't have to do this if this is frightening you stop <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Ada for the outer corner oh put that in my eye that's nice this is a luxe pencil from Zoeva by the way damn this girl is smoky I blend that with my finger could use a brush but I feel like if I use a brush, it's just going to move it too much. This eyeshadow is a bit intense, people, but hey, why not? Live it life on the edge. Literally looks so intense. Um, What do we think? Do we think bamboo? Bamboo. Right, I'm just going to do some liner, put my um, mascara on. And then I'll also put some lipstick on off camera. And then I'll back. So I hope this, mm, I think I like it. But we shall see. Power it back. Okay, so we're done. Um, so this is the finished look. Now, personally, I love these eyeshadows. Now, I... So I really like this mini masquerade palette. I think it's beautiful. Pigmented, amazing. Really good selection of colours. 
I also like this Nubian palette too. I mean, it's not got as many colours in it in terms of bright colours and stuff, but you can definitely get some really good looks out of this. So I think you're all set. Didn't actually get a chance to try the Saharan palette. Um, but if these two palettes are anything to go by, I think these are going to be amazing. So um, I'll quickly zoom you in so you can see what I've done. Okay, so here's the eyes. As you can see, I've done it quite smoky and dramatic. You don't have to do this, but I really enjoy doing like smoky and dramatic looks on my eyes. So you could just stop like with the nude color and everything. Go on for like this corally peachy lip. I know it's a bit much, but I think it looks cool. So yeah, this is the look. I've also used this um, Vivid Baked highlighter from Makeup Revolution in Golden Lights. And I really like it, so yeah okay so that's it now i really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial slash review and make sure that you check out these palettes because they're amazing um you can get them in beauty bay in the uk so make sure you have a look i'll link where you can get them as well down below in the description box have a look at some other videos of mine like subscribe and thank you so much for watching take care bye